Hi, my name is Edmund Lockgard, and I'm known as one of the key figures in forensic science because I created the idea that every contact leaves a trace. I even have my own principle called the Lockgard's Exchange Principle. I'm even known as the Sherlock Holmes of France. I was born on November 13, 1877, and I studied medicine and law at Lyon in France. I eventually became the assistant of Alexander Lacansanier and a criminologist and professor. I did these things until about 1910, when I finally, and then after that I began my foundation of my criminal laboratory. I even wrote a seven volume work called Traité de Criminalistique, and I continued this research until I died on May 4th, 1966. My legend began when I finally persuaded the police department of Lyon to give me two attic rooms and two assistants to finally start my police laboratory, what is known as actually the first police laboratory. It was in this laboratory that I was able to discover the idea that I am most famous for, my exchange principle. My principle states that every contact leaves a trace and that the perpetrator of a crime will always bring something into the crime scene and leave with something from it that can be used as forensic evidence later on. This is basically known as trace, or fragmentary evidence. This is any type of material left at or taken from a crime scene, or the result of contact between two surfaces, such as shoes and the floor covering, or even soil, even fibers from where someone sat on an upholstered chair. Some examples of trace evidence are pet hair on your clothes, hair on your brush, fingerprints on a glass, soil on the bottom of your shoes, tiny drops of blood on your clothing, used tissue paper, paint chips, and even broken glass. In the following video, you will see how I use my principle to solve a crime. 1912, Lyon, France. Young socialite Marie Littell gazes into the vanity at her parents' home. When an intruder sneaks up behind her. Police call in a man by the name of Dr. Edmund Locard, who had, in 1910, established one of the first police laboratories in the world. When I was examining the body, I noticed that there were scrape marks around the bruises on her neck. I figured that whoever killed her would still have traces of her skin underneath their fingernails. I suspected that the victim's boyfriend was the killer, so I took a sample from underneath his fingernails. The sample contains reddish iron oxide pigment known as Venetian red. If you notice, the victim was doing her makeup before she was strangled. That meant that she had traces of the Venetian oxide used to make ladies' makeup on her skin. Since the boyfriend had traces of this chemical underneath his fingernails, this linked him to the murder of his girlfriend. I solved this case using trace evidence and using my principle that every contact leaves a trace. 